They should see you suffering. Uh, right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Harris suffering now. Doing legs, squats, cardio. Oh, yeah. Going to see Cass and Sophie. This is where they live. Yo, we'll squat for the day. What was the only thing? Oh, yeah. It's a little touch screen device. Did it the first time, but why has it gone off? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Stare it, aren't we? I've got a bad leg and you've got two bad legs. <laughs> Watch it, Castle will be like, no, no, I'm just don't run with lift, mate. Hello! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Hello. This is for you, Hollykins, for Kami Cuckoos. This is a personalised. This is a, a personalised gown. Where can we show it? You can't. When you open we'll it, open it. it like, Shall we yeah. open it here? No, because it's all presented. But we've got personalised teddies. We've got a personalised gown. Oh we've got a personalised baby grow. A lot of this stuff I didn't want to see. Look there it is. You can see it there. Can you see the yellow oh, towel? Oh yeah. Can you see that? Oh it's yeah! So I didn't want to get you it because I thought I thought everyone's already done it. It's no, but I thought someone would have already got all this, but oh I personalised it to make it a bit different. And that, the baby grows a bit a larger size. So yeah, probably got loads of it. So when he grows into it, it's Look at that blanket, isn't it? It's glowing the dark. Is it? Whoa. Oh my god, it's gorgeous! And the teddies, the teddies are personalised as well. The teddies are actually handmade. Are they? Yeah. Wow, thank you so much. Yeah. I can't wait to have a look through. Thanks, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. You doing, man? You know what we said? You like either owned or rented a quad bike, took it over that bridge to over there where there's nothing but de like desert land, and just blast it over there. Do you know what? You might even look, there's some people on jet skis down there. People always ask me, expensive comparatively. I mean, people always ask me, bro, why, why, you, why you call my Abu Dhabi life if you live in Dubai? I still live in Abu Dhabi, which is just closer to Dubai. People don't understand, mm. and I'm in Dubai more because that's where my business is and that's where all my clients are. Everything. People don't understand, man. People go, call change to my my Dubai life. It's more sense to me. <laughs> it's like if you had a company called My Rack Life, right? My Russell Kamer Life, whatever, and you were in Dubai most of the time because you do business there. You're not going to change your your channel to My Dubai Life because you're in Dubai all the time. You you still live in Rack. You still that's where everything started from Rack. That's right. I started from Abu Dhabi. Now I'm in Dubai because my business is in Dubai. Bring that rascal out here. <laughs> Did you call him a rascal? Rascal. I thought you said bring that rascal out here. I thought, my God, you're teaching him. It's fast asleep already. Don't wake him, please. I want to give him a kiss. He's really sleepy. Come here, smutton. Eh? He ain't got skid marks in his nappy, has he? Not anymore. Harris, I just said don't wake him. He's alright. Hey, cuckoos. And geezer. What geezer? It's fucking hot about you, isn't it? It is. Someday a blazer. Does he get nappy rash if he shits a lot? Um, I think he usually has a little bit older. He's had a little bit of nappy rash. Would you put cream on it?
bitch. I've been in so long, man. I'm dying for shisha, bro. I can't wait for shisha. Sounds a bit strong, man. You have to move out there when you got shisha because it blows smoke and it's pointless then. Smoke needs to be felt when you're blowing out, bro. You need to feel it thick. It's all good, brother. It's part of the, uh, it's part of the experience. Sit outside smoking shisha. Guys, going well, bro. I'm proud of myself at the moment. It's been two and a half years, almost three years, living out here. I've never eaten this clean in three years. How long did you? Three years, almost three years, isn't it? Oh, how long did you? Five days. I know it's nothing. Yeah, I know it's nothing, but five days still. Five days in place. I've not even done one day before like this clean. I've, I, like I've started the day eating clean, like porridge or whatever. Night on a pizza or something. You know what I mean? Ruined it every every time for three years, bro. Now I'm on it, and I'm dead. I can feel my mind. It's all about getting your mind right. When your mind's right, nothing's gonna get in the way. If you had popcorn at your house. Popcorn is my weakness, bro. I'm Superman. Popcorn is my kryptonite. Really? It's, yeah, it's my weakness. You were eating popcorn next to me. I didn't touch it there. Popcorn is the one thing that I cannot, cannot be around when I'm dieting. Otherwise, I just go into. Oh, popcorn. All right, yeah. No, it's not, man. Popcorn's bad. Is it? Popcorn's bad, man. It's nothing in it. Nothing in it, but it's, it's, it's bad. I know it's bad. It's got a bit of salt in it. The salt content. Right? Yeah, but salt doesn't make you fat. Salt doesn't make you retain water and shit. It's not good for blood pressure either. But it's not good for you, otherwise I'd be able to eat it on my diet, wouldn't I? All I'm have is green salad, green veg, chicken, grilled chicken, fish, water, eggs, turkey. That's all I can friggin' have. Perfect. All clean shit, man. Perfect. What fruit? Are you having like pomegranate? I have not. I, I have an apple as a snack, that's it. Oh, I can have an orange. No bananas. Why not? Potassium. Potassium and also it makes you uh, more hungry. And also it's uh, carbs. Yeah. Because <laughs> my name's still, my name, my brand is still in, ringing around in the UK. You know what I mean? Like people still know about what I did in the UK. I worked hard, my bollocks off in the UK, man. Before I came out here. That's why I've got such a big UK following. Like now, obviously, I've got a following from obviously places in the world I've never even been before. But the UK is always going to be my probably my biggest following because they know where I've come from, what I did to get here. They've been watching me for ages, man. Some people, some veterans. Uh, have a sip of that. Trust me. Pass that bit of the seizure and try it. Looks like piss, man. I don't want it. I'm alright. I'll, I'll drink my clear water, bro. Drink it. Sip it. I'm alright, bro. Try I, it. Bro, I backwash. It's rude. It's rude to say no, you know that. It's not rude to say no, man. I'm alright. I'm offering it to you and you'll say no. Are you are insulting me, are you? But you're not Arab. I'm alright. Arabs are getting sore. You're not getting sore. Take it back. Have a sip. You're from London. Have a sip. Honestly, bro, I don't like drinking aloe vera. It's not aloe vera. It's a fruit drink. It's just called vitamin C. Alright, do this. You have it from a straw and I'll drink it. Just pour a tiny bit into my glass. Like literally the tiniest little bit, bro. If, if you pour more, I'm going to throw it on for throw it in and put it in more in. A little bit. No. Fucking hell. Bottoms up. Sour, isn't it? Sour. Sour, man. Why are you making that shit for, man? Nice. You like it? Nah, man. Really? I'm not a fruity guy, bro. I'm not a fruity guy. <laughs> coffee or chili? Uh, coffee or I'm alright, thanks. Sticking his finger up again. Thanks, son. Appreciate it. It's heavy, isn't it? Yeah, it's really heavy, yeah.
Il va récupérer. Ja, het moet niet even doen. Het is een mooie. Op een kaal, kijk. Hoi. Het is goed. En als we op Margin Island met Harris en Holly. Making our way back to the villa. Hoor je dat Harris is gonna follow us. Had him run. Just for a day. He was gonna stay the whole weekend, but. His son's gotta get to bed. So he's gonna make his way back to Abu Dhabi, Dubai. We're just heading out. This is Margin Island, which is an island on the left, on the west side of Russell Climber. Hungry. See you in a moment. Once you've had a flight out. Oi! Okay. This game is whack, bro. What? I'm not a fan of these kind of games. Wow. It's mindless. Imagine if you you in real life. Yeah, in real life, it's messed up, isn't it? Messed up, yeah, bro. You gotta do it, you gotta do it. survive. You gotta do it, you gotta do it, survive, eh? He's smiling, I think. Yeah. Does he usually get quite? Is he, is he quite like awake at this time? Like alive? Not usually. I just, yeah. Maybe because he's in a, he's in a new place. Maybe the new sounds. He's smiling, man. Hello, mate. Yeah. Hello, mate. When he's doing that with his mouth, Hello, he's mate. trying to smile, isn't he? And Hello, mate. He's going to make noises. Hello, mate. Hello. 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 Are the worst, bro. Squats are the worst, but they are the best and best. <sighs> that was tough, man. I know. I know. <laughs> uh. I know, but we are trying to get you as cardiac as possible. Yeah. Doing the workout. Two, one, and go. 
<laughs> go. All right, go. This one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Back straight. Go. Come on. Seven. Eight. We need two. Nine. Ten. That's it. Ten seconds. Ten. Come on. You got them. Go. Four. Five. Six. Keep breathing. Go. Come on. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. One more. One more. Oh, good job. Good job. Good job. Painful, huh? They should see you suffering. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Harris suffering now. Doing legs, squats, cardio. As I see that he's enjoying his time. You can see that from his face. <laughs> Let's go one more time. One, two, and go. That's it, go. All right. From the lower one and go back. Go back. Faster, 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 faster. Go, go, go. Come on. Come on. Go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You're almost done. Come on, come on. All right. Very good. Ready. One more to go. One more to go. One more to go. One more to go. Go, go, go. That's it. Go back. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going, Harris. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. All right. All right. Man. All right. All right. Good job. All right. Good job. Man. Good job. We'll do it. We'll do it again. More, I'm gonna get out of bed. One more? Yeah, we we'll rest for a minute. We we'll rest for a minute. Then we will go again. A minute, then we will go again. Twice. Back and forth. Back and forth. Yeah, this is why I'm resting you. So I give you something, you give me something back. <laughs> Alright, two minutes and we'll go again. One minute, sorry, and we will go again. The good thing that your camera has a timer, so it's basically timing. 20 seconds. Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two. One and go. That's it. That's it. All right, I'm back. Keep going, keep going. Breathe. All right, catch your breath. One, two, and go. Last time, last time. We're done. We're done, Harris. We're done. Come on, we're done. We're done, we're done. All right. Let's push it back. Push it back. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. Show your fans some strength, bro. Come on. Come on. 
Go, go, go. Go. All right, good job, good job, man, good job. <laughs> to be honest, I'm enjoying this. I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> good job, man, good job. Good job. What's going on, people? Just finished the gym. Uh, I almost fainted today, I swear to God. Um, I did legs two days ago and uh, as well as upper body but for some reason my legs were still sore today obviously maybe you saw in yesterday's vlog I was struggling to walk down steps and I was struggling to sit down and stand up and everything it looked like I was disabled or you know something wrong with me when I was out and about yesterday and uh, today obviously I come into the gym and told him that you know my legs are a bit sore and everything I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do today because today was leg day he goes listen if you uh, push it and you do leg exercises I get the blood pumping again and, and you'll feel better tomorrow so obviously every time I come to the gym now I'm not doing it like half I'm doing it and pushing myself to the limit to my absolute maximum limit and push myself as hard as I can because if you're gonna go to the gym and you're gonna work out and train and everything and you're gonna you really want to see results and stuff I see I don't see the point in going there and not push yourself to the absolute maximum limit you know what I mean so like I don't want to go to the gym you know do whatever you know slowly and, and chill out and everything and then come out and be like not feeling it you know what I mean I need to like every time I've been every time I've gone I push myself more than I have the previous time you know what I mean anyway this time round um, I just pushed myself so hard and I, di I didn't know this actually he told me he just told me now when you do legs all the blood goes to you to you. obviously it's kind of logical and obvious the blood goes to your legs so obviously there's no all the blood's down there in your legs so you know you get lightheaded and everything he said that I went uh, like a um, pale in my face and um, I sat down and I just felt really dizzy man and proper light headed then I felt like I was going to throw up and then he said just lay down <clears throat> and he went and got me some water with a little bit of salt in it so um, a little little trick for you guys if you ever feel that bad drink salt water because straight away after I drank the salt water I felt better straight away I still feel like crap now like I feel really groggy and stuff and I feel really really tired and my legs are throbbing right now but um, at least I don't feel like I'm going to faint anymore I just feel really tired and weak now um, so, uh, so yeah, pushed myself so hard today. Honestly, like tears were coming out of my eyes when I was doing that. Because obviously I did all the legs exercise, and then, and then he made me push this thing, which usually would be quite fun. But uh, with my legs being so friggin' oh, honestly, my legs being so weak, it was so difficult to push and pull that big thing um, across the floor. Uh, after I finished doing that, man, I did about four, four uh, reps of that forward and back. Honestly, tears were coming out of my eyes, sweat was pouring out of my face. I was in agony, my head was throbbing, my, my legs were throbbing. Honestly, I, I pushed myself, I think, the hardest I've ever pushed myself in my life today. I've never pushed myself this hard before. Because I really want to really do this for myself and um, for obviously for my family and everything. And I want to do it for you, to show you guys that if I can do it, then you guys can do it too. You know what I mean? Honest to God, if I can do this, if I can lose this weight and I can transform my body and everything, then you guys can do it, trust me, because I, you guys have seen me with my triple F's and my eating and the way that I've been living my life for the past couple of years, just not really caring about my health, and just look, just you know, more involved in my business and making sure my, my business is successful rather than looking at my health and everything. So now I'm looking at my health. Um, you know, it's going to be a, a long, hard slog, but if I can do this, then then you know, hopefully it'll motivate and inspire some of you guys out there who want to transform yourselves uh, it'll inspire and, and, and you know it'll give you guys the inspiration to do it as well and obviously give you this give you the motivation to show you that if somebody like me can do it then then, then anybody can do it uh, so <clears throat> yeah uh, right now I'm just gonna go home I'm gonna eat my apple I'm gonna have a shower I'm probably gonna go to sleep so I want to just end the vlog here or I want to at least say something in the vlog now while I'm driving home just so that you know there's something there while I'm feeling this way I can talk to you about it so, so yeah, I almost fainted, man. I can't believe it. I, I've only ever almost fainted twice in my entire life. Once was uh, quite recently, actually. I was with Amir, Amir kind of boxer. I did a video for him, and uh, I was running around Dubai with him and stuff. And I hadn't eaten all day. And usually I'm okay doing that. Usually it's not a problem. You know what I mean? Previously, like I used to just not eat all day, and then at the, at, in the evening just eat like a pizza or something. That's what I used to do. Well, anyway, uh, it got to like late afternoon. 
and we went back to his hotel, uh, his hotel where we were staying so for, he got changed and everything before we went and did some interviews and stuff and all of a sudden I started shaking and, and sweating and shaking and dizzy and everything and um, Zaid told me today that that means he got low, uh, low um, blood sugar when you've got low blood sugar you need to eat something sweet obviously like an apple I picked up an apple, I was in his hotel room and the, all he had in his hotel room was fruit so I grabbed an apple and I ate the apple um, and after about 10 minutes I was fine again uh, and then today obviously it was low blood uh, pressure uh, so I needed more salt I haven't been putting any salt on my food I've been eating clean for the past week one full week I've eaten clean now and I haven't put any salt on my food I've been eating the cleanest you can imagine honestly any cleaner than this now and I just wouldn't be eating anything honestly I'm just eating so much greens I feel like a rabbit seriously so so yeah I mean obviously um, I mean, the only problem I'm having at the moment is that every every night I get something like stomach ache now. I don't know what that's about. I asked him today. He said just try and change it up a little bit. Try have a little bit of fish. Uh, try try doing this. Try doing that. He gave me a couple of little, little bits of advice because every every night after I've had my evening meal, my chicken with my salad, about 10, 20 minutes later I get really bad stomach cramps and stomach pains and I feel like I'm gonna throw up and I'm just in a really bad way. You know what I mean? Every night it's been for the past couple couple of nights, four nights, five nights. So uh, I need to see what I can do about that. Maybe it's just su sudden, sudden uh, change of diet, drastic, you know, change of diet. Maybe it's just like my body's like, what the heck? Where's the pizza? Where's the cheese? Where's the, where's the sugar? Where's the fats? Where's the, you know, where's the burgers and chips and pizza and donuts and hot dogs and cheese and all the bad stuff? Like crisps. You know what I mean? So I don't know, man. Uh, anyway, yeah, good, good session today at the gym again. But yeah. It was the toughest session of my life today. And it's just gonna get it's just gonna get harder, but hopefully I'll get stronger and I'll get more fit and I'll, I'll be able to I'll be able to deal with it more and more. But today has really been a game changer for me, man. I just want to let you guys know. Anyway, make sure you subscribe, people. I'd appreciate you to subscribe. Uh, thumbs up. Uh, give it a share as well if you want to help a brother out. And make sure you also uh, leave a little comment below as well. Just, you know just have a little discussion or chit chat or just say hello in the comment section below and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another daily vlog I appreciate your support people yeah safe